So when we first bought the land, um, it was just a sloppy mess out here. If anyone has watched our videos from the beginning, you'll know that I ended up buying some steel tracks to put on my skid steer. I just couldn't move. It was so wet. I was just constantly getting stuck and slopping around. I also got uh, several flat tires along the way. And since then, which has been about two years now, I haven't had any flat tires until just now. So this is uh, probably going to be a real pain because I haven't taken these tracks off. And I, I've tried to take them off and I couldn't because all the bolts were stuck on. Luckily on this side, I actually broke a bolt off recently and I had to get a new one. So that one should come off easily. Hope I can get the other side out, which is probably the bigger problem. And then try and get this tire fixed. But um, I'm assuming this happened when we were putting the fence in. I rolled over just a ton of locust thorns um, trying to clean up the fence row and then installing the T-posts and pulling this, you know, stretching the fence and everything. So I'm 99% sure that's why I got a flat. So I guess, uh, you know, two years without a flat's a pretty good deal, but now I got to get this, um, got to figure out how to get the tracks off. Well, then we get the track off. Getting the getting the bolts undone isn't the hard part. It's knocking the thing out. And the reason being is that over time, you can see how that is no longer round, and so it gets stuck on the lip. I think I was just lucky because I've tried this many times before and could never get the thing bolt out. Um, so I guess luck's with me today. But this thing is heavy. I'm trying to pull it over the top. I was going to break it in the center. Uh, right about here, but then I realized that I can't get around this uh, wheel well. So I would have broken it loose, but had no way to fold it back over. So I was able to break it down here, which was nicer because I could actually get underneath and uh, hammer in this way with that uh, little sledge and be able to knock that bolt loose. So, so far it's coming out pretty good. Now I just got to get the uh, tire off. So raise your hand if you've seen the uh, Christmas story movie where the dad is just, uh, he's like, when he gets a flat tire, he's just speedy guns all us to get out there and get the tire changed. That's always been me. Now it always makes fun of me because we'll get a flat tire on the road and I'm jumping out and fixing it before she even knows what's going on and I'm back in the truck in like 10 minutes and uh, she always makes fun of me. So I was able to get that off. Um, I tried before and wasn't able to, but I think I made pretty good time on, on getting that out of there. So the difficulty is going to be when I have to put the new tire back in. This one being flat and not fully inflated, I was able to squeeze it between the, uh, the tracks and the hub there. So hopefully I'll be able to get the new one back on when I get it fixed. But you can see this disaster that gets wound up in the, in the axles all the time. Yeah, barbed wire and a whole bunch of that twine still in there go through and cut that out while I got this apart. Get that tire fixed and then we'll be uh, back in business ready to tear up something else. Kind of I have the hiccups.
It's a gorgeous day. Figured I'd let the little ones... Oh, the first one's out. <laughs> Figured I'd let them explore a little bit. I know. I got the new tire back on, so now I've got to stretch out the uh, tracks here. So this was a tool that came with it. So it hooks in on that notch, and it'll hook in down here. I've got to get down underneath somehow to hook on this one way back there, and then ratchet them tight. 